Hi guys, it's Nina from VR Focus. I'm joined here by Thomas Gear from the Reality Center, and he's going to help me upset the TP Cast adapter for the wireless uh, headset for the Oculus Rift. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and set yeah. it up right now. So we've taken uh, mm -hmm. all of the cables out of the out of the bag, um, mm -hmm. and we're just going to show you guys how to set everything up. So I kind of forgot something during the unboxing. There's a very beautiful stand thing here. So if we could let, let's just put it together. Yeah. Um, so it just, this kind of looks nice because it looks similar to the sensor for the Oculus Rift. Um, so it kind of looks quite pretty, doesn't it, Thomas? Yeah, looks um, in line with the sensor, which I'm, I'm going to show now. You can see it's more or less the same, which is really good. So it looks very professional for when you're perhaps doing yeah. uh, something with clients for mm -hmm. corporates. Um, so that looks really nice and pretty. So uh, we've already connected the power cables for yeah. everything else. So let's go ahead and plug it into uh, to that CPCAS receiver and then into the router as well. So Thomas knows everything about electronics. Just a bit. Uh, just a bit. And just gonna, um, what are we going to plug in here? So now we are connecting um, the HDMI from the computer to the TPCast uh, emitter. So here you see it's a standard HDMI. And um, you will see there's a light blinking and just leave it as, as it is. Doesn't matter if you switch on and off uh, the button here for the moment. And then you leave it uh, in the field of view of where you're going to do the VR experience basically. Okay, so just leave in the field of view where the VR experience is going to be. And we also have an Ethernet cable here, which we will plug into the router. Yeah. Uh, you're plugging it into which area are you plugging into? So any of the one ports. Any of the any one of ports. Any of the Ethernet ports on the router that comes right. uh, with the TPCast. And then into um, the uh, network adapter uh, of the computer. Okay, so we're putting the cable into the network adapter of the VR-ready laptop. Uh, if you if you have a LAN, you can also connect the LAN into the, the router, so you can share the internet as well, but that's not mandatory. So if you have a LAN, you can connect that to the router as well. We also uh, we have a strap which we unwrapped uh, from its box, and you can you sort of wrap it according to how big or how small you are. Um, and I'm just going to see, so over here you see like labels B1, B2, and these belong to the uh, power bank and it's just pretty simple really you just oh I can't do it with one hand <laughs> yeah. so basically that's going to be the power bank uh, that is uh, powering the whole uh, wireless kit on the receiver so on the user that wearing the VR headset so that's going to power that box basically so um, we are doing going to connect them together first so I'm just going to repeat it because my microphone's here. Uh, put this one in first. That's that's what I've tried. So, putting in the power for the receiver that is going on top of the Oculus, uh, and it's labeled appropriately. You can see here B1 and B2, so you know where the cables will go to. Um, and then we've got that connecting cable, which will go into the headset. The so headset. What you need to do first with the headset, Ooh, hang on. that might be what seems to be the trickiest, but actually it's quite simple. So you're removing the foam first from the bottom, then you unclick at the top, and then you will see the main usual, traditional cable with normally those two parts, and then one mini HDMI on the other side is actually can be just unplugged from the headset. It's actually very, uh, very easy. And you can just uh, put it aside. You're not going to need it. So we're just taking out the HDMI, the cables that belong to the Oculus Rift, uh, mm -hmm. and we're taking the cable that goes with the power bank and plugging it into the Oculus Rift. So we're putting the mini HDMI. We're putting it back the HDMI from the uh, TP cast um, inside the headset. You can put back the, the foam as well. So the same way. So, bottom, so we're putting the first. foam back on the headset and the mini HDMI cable uh, of the TP cast where the original cable is and uh, we're going to plug these A1 can't really focus A1 E2 cables into the receiver which will be 
sort of powered by this power bank. So this is going to be on you when you go untethered, even though you still have cables on you. You have to remove the head strap so that you can actually slide it through the uh, receiver. Yeah, that's it. See? That's the way to make it stable. Okay, so you have to basically strip it, go back into Both, here, yeah. and then Both side go of back. The strap has to be have to be in, and then you can put back the foam. Now we're putting back the foam onto the Arceus Rift. And here you go. And there you go. And then you can put the strap on. So now we're just going to put the strap on for the power bank. So, so the easiest is just um, take out take, take out the battery. I, take I out a bit the, the, the battery. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit like this. Don't force it too much. Then it's on like this, and um, just put it around. Like a gun holster. Just put it around gun your holster. waist. You can adjust it according accordingly. Yeah. Um, That's it. Just adjust it, and then. Um, On the and then we and put on the headset. There you go. You're there we go. So voilà. right now you have no wires attached to the computer no whatsoever. Wires. Yeah, no wires, and obviously put this at the back. And um, so yeah, that's that's a little bit flimsy. So you have to make sure that's at the back back way. of you. Yeah. Yeah. But so. Uh, and I'm in actually. I'm into the. Uh, so. You can see the whole space here. Is it is it heavy? Is it light? Is it comfortable? It's very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. Light. Uh, light. Really nice, yeah. Right. Enjoying it. So, um, yeah, it's great. Really good. Yeah. The TP cast emitter has the power cable and is linked to the HDMI is linked to the laptop. We've got uh, an Ethernet cable which is connected to the router and an extra LAN one which is connected to the internet which we need to run the Oculus. Like any hardware, you're gonna have to download some software. So we're just gonna head over to mm -hmm. the website. Customer support, we're gonna download the TPCast wireless connection assistant for the Oculus Rift. And we're just gonna find the appropriate one. There we go. We're just gonna download it. It's a little bit, this is obviously a uh, little bit of the boring part of the video, but just want to make sure that you guys understand the process that we went through to actually make it work. So we're just going to, just going to go through this next, next, yep, install. These are the buttons that we clicked. I'm just going to fast forward through it all. Here we go. Now it's installing. Let's just fast forward a little bit. There we go. And now we have the TPCast connection assistant for the Oculus. So um, this is a little bit of information that we already have had seen before or that we've seen before in the booklet. Um, but it's probably just a reminder for people who don't read the manuals and just like doing everything online because everything's online. Okay. So uh, let's start it up. So um, we got to connect to uh, the power and then we're going to you know, detect the cable and then we're going to load up the system. Um, so I recommend actually uh, re restarting your computer uh, when you download the yeah. software because that's always useful. And there you go. That's what you need to have your TP cast run some uh, untethered wireless oculus rift and then you can go into virtual reality without having to worry about all of the wires that connect your headset to the laptop so we're just starting the oculus uh, oculus home software thomas is gonna look super awesome uh, making the or basically configuring the space uh, the playable space in which uh, he could do his oculus experience there he goes just walk in, walk in, walk in, walk in, setting up the space. There we go. So we're going to just set up the blue because everyone knows about the blue. Um, and Thomas here is just going to try and check it out. It must feel super, super weird being without a wire when you're so used to it.
Um, so that is just a little bit of a close up of the TP cast on the head. Um, or you can see his little battery power, uh, which is on the side of his hip. And there, Thomas is saying hi to the Will. And uh, as you can see, so f so far, I mean, it's pretty quick. It's pretty accurate. There's not a lot of latency. Thank you so much for watching this guide for the TP cast for the Oculus Rift. I hope you guys liked it. Please like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more of this content. And I'll see you later.